good morning everyone uh, today i am going to make pad thai it's a thai cuisine uh, food so kids love this pad thai so we can make with the chicken um, and shrimp and vegetarian also if people are vegetarian they can make uh, without chicken and shrimp they can add mushroom capsicum okay the ingredient of pad thai is uh, this rice noodles um the rice noodles uh, it's available in the all the shop especially you can get it from the uh, chinese shop and also we can use the red um, noodles also if you want to feel healthy one so today i am using the white rice noodles and the another main ingredient is uh, sprout so usually um for authentic uh, uh, part thai sprout is available in the shop that is a very long bean sprout but uh, because of the lockout it's not available in the shop so i am using my own made sprout so with the beans this is a bean sprout i made and so noodles sprout and we are going to make the sauce i will teach you how to make the sauce and the chicken okay and optional is this bamboo shoot so i am adding today bamboo shoot also so bamboo shoot is optional take a um, little bit of water in the bowl so i put it on top of the stove i switch it on and put see this much um, tamarind so this is a raw tamarind i put it in this water and i'm going to add some jaggery so jaggery is same amount like uh, how much see this um, tamarind and this jaggery in the water so just for one minute i am going to boil this one this is 400 gram rice noodles so what we have to do is see i am uh, i kept some water in the pan so once it's start to warm not boil it's enough uh, for the heat so once it start to heat or you no know, warm enough then switch up the flame then i'll add that uh, um, rice noodles into this one i'm going to switch up the flame of uh, this jaggery and tamarind uh, now i'm going to switch off this jaggery and uh, tamarind so now i'm going to cut this um, chicken breast into small pieces uh, see how uh, finely I chopped it in a small small cubes like this okay it's a chicken breast you can use chicken thigh also so cut it in the small pieces like the this. important part is you need to wash all the meats should be washed there is a slight steam is coming from the water so I switch it off the flame this is a enough so just see just enough okay I am going to pour this rice noodle in this water. Initially it will stick like this. After 30 seconds it will go into the water. Don't worry. Uh, now the noodles went inside the water. Okay. This chicken. In this chicken. Now we are going to add corn flour. White corn flour. So one two tablespoon okay three tablespoon of corn flour and little bit of salt see this salt little bit of salt and this and little bit of pepper okay so i'm going to mix this one out now i am going to take up the sauce from this uh, tamarind and jaggery right we soak it in the uh, medium hot water so I am going to smash it by my hand and take it out the uh, pulp like the sauce uh, tamarind and uh, jaggery water See, I am taking pulp out of the jaggery and tamarind soaked in the water so now I am taking out the pulp so you can use the strainer also but uh, I am little bit experienced I could so it's easy for me. 
see this pulp so this is the sauce we are going to use in this pot thai and also we can add the fish sauce in this but i am not using the fish sauce today sauce is ready um, i am not using the um, what is that fish sauce fish sauce is the main ingredient if you want you can add the two uh, tablespoon of fish sauce the fish sauce smell is um, uh, my kids not like it so that's why i am not using but if definitely for pot thai fish sauce is the main ingredient if you'd like you add it for vegetarian you no need to add the fish sauce meanwhile i cut it some spring onions and red pepper red bell pepper you can use either uh, green bell pepper or yellow bell pepper it's up to your uh, no wish so i use the spring onion and uh, red bell pepper for today pot thai now um, i put a large pan uh, in this on the stove so i have a sesame oil in this sesame oil use the sesame oil that is the main thing so i am adding the sesame oil like um, two to three tablespoons okay meanwhile i am going to drain this um, rice noodles in the strainer okay enough now so now what i'm going to do is put this chicken see the sizzling sound i'm adding the chicken now see i'm cooking the chicken it will take a while like uh, maybe 15 minutes to cook the chicken so keep on doing like this it will take at least 15 minutes see the color is changing but still keep on doing 10 to 15 minutes it will take just now 7 minutes is done after 7 minutes see the color is changing keep on doing keep on cooking after 10 minutes i am adding the red uh, pepper in this chicken stirring it so it will so already 10 minutes done now another 5 minutes with pepper and chicken okay see uh, this is a sprout i made it at home but we supposed to use the long sprout beans it's available in the shop um, it's available in all the grocery shop but in india i don't know whether it's available or not but in China, Thailand, America, uh, everywhere, the bean sprout is celebrated. That's a very long one. After this, it will take, you know, two, three days. So we are going to use that sprout will be good. If it is not available, we can use our homemade. This kind of sprout is fine. Bamboo shoot, same way. Bamboo shoot, bamboo shoot is optional. Um, I didn't get the fresh bamboo shoot in the shop. But if you get the fresh bamboo shoot, you can use the fresh one. But this is the uh, box one. Um, it's uh, no, it's uh, available in the boxes. So I am using the bamboo shoot. It will give you a nice flavor and aroma. But uh, the original part that they are not using the uh, um, this bamboo shoot. But my kids and me like this bamboo shoot very much. So that's the reason I am adding bamboo shoot in this pack. This is the basil uh, powder. Uh, this basil powder available in the shop but normally we have to use the fresh basil leaves at the end uh, for garnish I don't have the fresh one right now so I am using this um, fine uh, what is this a dried basil at the end for the aroma okay now I am adding the bamboo shoot keep mixing it little bit of salt for bamboo shoot okay just mixing it the drained nine uh, drained rice noodles in this pan now i am adding this tamarind and jaggery sauce into this okay now 
what is for spicy so for spicy we are using this sriracha hot chili sauce so i am going to add that sauce see so one teaspoon two teaspoon three spoon four spoon five spoon okay keep mixing it now i am adding the sprout too in this noodles and full of sprout i am adding it's up to you every how much you want so i add two and full of i am i am keep mixing with the sprout uh, chicken and noodles and everything together now i am adding the spring onion into this then i am adding a little bit of basil dried basil but please use the fresh basil it will give more aroma so little bit of basil now keep mixing it and it's almost ready to serve see the beautiful color and vegetable so much protein in this chicken sprout bamboo shoot and vegetable we have the bell pepper and green onion it's a very delicious parta is ready now enjoy parta is now ready to serve